Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's Flutter plus Firebase tutorial, we are going to see how to create a login with Google screen in our Flutter application. So if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel already, please do click subscribe, hit the bell icon and let's quickly get started. All right, so right now you can see the state of my application as it is. We have a simple screen which shows some text which says Flutter social media. Now we are going to try to build this screen as similar to as what we saw right now in the beginning of this video. To do that, I am going to introduce a new folder within the lib folder which we will call screens and within the screens folder, I am going to introduce a file which we will call home.dart. Now let me open this file and let me introduce a stateful component here or uh, you can say a stateful widget here which we will call the home widget. Let me save this. Let me uh, import whatever is missing right here by clicking on this bulb icon. Uh, okay, so I need material dot dot. For starters, I will be showing some very simple text in this widget, which should say something like home slash login. Let me save this. And I will now head back over to the main.dart file and I will try to use the home component as a child of this container. So let me try to access home. And we can see some auto suggestions popping up. So let me select home, which is our widget that we just defined in home.dart file. And we can see that the widget has been imported here. Let me try to save this file and see what happens. So you can see that Flutter is performing a hot reload. And uh, we can see on our Android device that the text has changed. And this is the same text that we have defined over here. All right, the next thing to do in our home widget is to actually define a variable called auth, which will define whether we are logged in or not logged in. For now, we will set the value of auth to be false by default. Now within the build function, I am simply going to use the value of auth to be either able to show the home screen or the login screen. So if the value of auth is true, we will be showing some text which says home and if the value of auth is false, let us show some text which is going to say login. Let me save this and see what happens. All right, so as we can see, the text has right now changed to login. All right, so what I'm going to do next is this part since it is going to become pretty big pretty quickly, I am going to simply replace it with a function. Let me call this function build an auth and let me define the function here. So this returns me a widget build an auth and let me say return the text that we just copied from there or for that matter the container that we just copied from right here. Okay, let me save this and there should be no changes to our Android application screen. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of all of these and I'm going to introduce what is known as a scaffold. Now scaffold can be considered as the very top level container or placeholder for other flutter widgets. Now within the scaffold, we are going to add the body of the scaffold. Now for now, let this body just be a container with some text within itself and uh, let the text as usual say uh, okay we'll, we'll we'll give it a different text this time let us say uh, flutter social media let me save this and see what happens all right so as you can see the look of our app has totally changed and we can see the text flutter social media right here in the app bar all right, but our text was supposed to be somewhat here uh, and not here. So what we can do for that is we can introduce alignment within our container to center everything that the container contains. So let me say alignment is equal to alignment 
dot center add a comma and save this and we can see that our text is now centered all right so what's next here so you saw in the starting that we had some text which said flutter social media and below that we had a large button which said login with google now that large button is in fact an image which is located inside the assets slash images folder and the name is google login dot png so this is what the image looks like let us now try to add the image right here now to stack elements one below the other flutter provides us with a custom widget which is known as a column so we are going to put our text as well as the image that we are going to introduce into a column so how do we do that well, we can just hover over the child of this container and by clicking the bulb icon, we can say wrap with column. So you can see the child is, uh, the text here is replaced with a column and the column is having an array of children. The first one of which is the text that was earlier the child of the column. Now, after the text, let me introduce one more container. We are going to specify some height for the container, let it be equal to 60 units as well as some width. Now suppose uh, we want our button to take 90% of the width of the screen. How can we do that? Well, if you are from CSS background, you would be happy to find some media queries in Flutter, although they don't work exactly the same at CSS, but we have something known as media queries here. So we can say media query dot of context dot size dot width and as you said we want it to be 90% so let's multiply it by 0.9 now this container is going to have some decoration which will actually be the image that we wish to show within this container so let me introduce some box decoration. Let me say image decoration image and the image within this would be what is known as an asset image. So here we can have two type of images. Either we can have an asset image or we can have a network image. Uh, but for now, since uh, this file is located in our local directory, we are going to use the assets image. So let me say asset image and let me after that give the complete path to the image or you can say the relative path to the image. Let's save this and see if we get something here. All right, so we saved our home.dart file but the image doesn't seem to have appeared here and our flutter social media text has gone way up on the screen so what's going on here if we go ahead and check the debug console we can see that some exception has been caught by image resource service and the asset assets images google login.png has failed to load now why does this happen uh, well it's 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 a very common bug and it's very simple uh, to solve so to solve this, we simply have to migrate to our pubspec.yaml file and we have to add our assets within this file. Like they have given us some example to add assets to your application, add an asset section like this and then give the path to your images. So let us do just that. I am going to uncomment this and uncomment this line as well and I am going to add the path to our image right here. I'll go to the terminal and quickly say flutter pub get all right so flutter pub get has completed and after this if we try to reload our application we should actually be able to see the image right here okay so here you go our image has loaded now this appears right on top of the screen but we want it to appear in the center uh, now that's a, a very simple thing to do uh, the column has a main axis that goes from top to bottom and a cross axis that follows from the left to the right so we can align elements along the main axis or the column. 
simply uh, come within the column widget and say main axis alignment main axis alignment dot center and everything should be centered as soon as you save this file okay so you can see that our elements have become centered now since these two are pretty close let me wrap the text within a padding so if i click on the bulb icon and i say padding and okay so eight units is fine as far as i think we can see that some padding has been introduced okay let's just increase it a little bit maybe to 15. okay cool now as we saw in the starting this outer box had a colorful gradient so let us introduce that gradient within this outermost container so for that i am going to introduce some decoration which would which would be of type box decoration within box decoration we are going to add some gradient which was a linear gradient uh, and this gradient begins at alignment dot top left and ends at alignment dot bottom right and what are the colors within this gradient well the first color that will start from the top left would be colors dot amber and the color that would end the gradient at the bottom right would be colors dot purple so let me actually go ahead and save this and let us see what happens okay so our cool gradient has been introduced here now you might be wondering what is colors so colors is an enum defined in the flutter material colors dot dart file which uh, gives us many of the colors out of the box and you can use it in your code you can also use uh, colors via hex codes but uh, i find this way a little bit more convenient if you want to use these standard colors okay then couple of final touches let's make this text larger and white in color so for that i am going to come here within uh, the text and i am going to introduce what is known okay not textile but style and uh, this will be of type text style and the color is going to be colors dot white and the font size is going to be let's say 24 let us save this and we can see that our text has become larger and white in color and now just the very very last thing for today we just want to make this button as clickable so how do we do that well that's pretty simple we come to this container which contains our image and we wrap the container within a widget this widget is going to be called gesture detector and this will have a function which is the on tap function let me introduce an anonymous function here and simply print that login with google was tapped all right so let's let's add a semicolon sorry that was an exc exclamation and uh, it's come out to our debug console and let's try to actually uh, tap or click our login with google button and see what happens so as you can see that login with google is getting printed printed right here which shows us that this on tap function is being called when we actually tap on the gesture detector or this image on our android application screen and that is going to be it for this short video guys in our next video we are actually going to build the functionality of being able to integrate a google login within this screen also all of the code that you just saw can be easily found in this github repository ae.ado/flutter.sm so please do check it out as well so if you like the content of this video please do give it a thumbs up if you like the content of my channel please click subscribe you can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates and like always thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you very soon with a brand new tutorial